That's for violation. That's for violation. My favorite part of pickup basketball has to be um, playing with my friends. Um, you just spend time with my bros away from home. Get it? You can also get a workout in cardio. Um, that's it. You know, Alex just like was like before track practice said, Luke, you want to go play some basketball? You know, just to hang out after school. And so I was like, sure, because he invited me and some other people were like, oh yeah, we'll come too. So just a fun way to just chill after school. Uh, I like yo, pick up basketball yo. because there's always something to do after school, like besides homework, and I just want to have fun with my friends. It all first started with when um, my friend Trent played Tyler, and I made a 1v1 video. And you know, Trent won by a lot because of his size and later on you know I was inspired and I started going out to the court more often. Um, it's mainly with people who aren't on a basketball team so they're not as good so then you can have more of a fun time instead of being beat down super hard. Let me call my bros for assistance. You gonna make me call my bros for assistance. Just keep reaching and dissing. Put me in a fall Uh, my favorite part about pickup basketball is like the fact that it makes a lot of friends. <laughs> like you all get together and you can play against each other. A lot of people are trash and clean honesty. Man, the atmosphere is just great, man. It brings so many people together and just. It's so fun. It creates a brotherhood that will last forever. Like me, I don't play basketball, but man, I like pickle basketball. I don't think I'd be making or having as much fun playing basketball if we weren't recording it. Cause then we can like, when we're 80 and we have Alzheimer's and can't remember anything, then we'll be able to watch and be like, man, I remember those days when I bought up Alex. because I get to make fun of my friends when they just miss shots very badly, like that guy behind the camera. He just can't shoot. Like, but I like to show my friends how to shoot, ball on the daily, cross people up. I don't know, just too good at it. I decided, you know, the only way I was going to have fun and enjoy basketball was to just grab a ball and start playing. And ever since then, I just enjoy it and keep doing it. I hate this so much. It's such a pet peeve because usually when I like to film, I, I do it for my fun. I like to film the games because they're, they're so there's so much fun to film. But and it's for our own entertainment. But the kids, they just like to, they just come up and they think it's so ha ha to just like jump in front of the camera. Just a gang gang KOB lot. I was just like, bro, what are you doing, man? Like. I let them burst take a bath, bath. Raindrop, drop, 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 smoking, no cooking the hot pot. Cooking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking the. A lot of times kids would mess with the camera. It, it got frustrating sometimes. Open the crock pot, pot. We came from. But I, that really gets on my nerves sometimes. But. When I was guarding Andrew, you know, I was getting really bored because he was basically dribbling in place and going in circles. So, you know, I just decided to shuffle my feet and play around like I was getting crossed up and ended up losing my balance and fell. So usually when I 
try to cross with people. I just do like simple crisscrosses and stuff like that. Cause you know, I don't want to do too, too much like rich uh, moves or else I'm going to lose the ball. So I try to keep it the same. But this time when I was playing him one-on-one, -on -one, I felt the spirit of Allen Iverson come in. And I was just like, shoo, shoo. And he just fell backwards. I was just like, whoa, what just happened? And I tried going for the lay layup. And as I go up, Allen Iverson's spirit was just like, nah, you goo cut, and he leaves, and I miss the layup. But the cross-up was still pretty good. Christian with the ball, Christian with the ball. Ball call. Slow my sender! Don't be so scared. Xander had the ball, and so he was like about to shoot it. So then I jumped up. I was I was trying to swat that out of the air, but and then he held on to it, and so I was like, oh, like I flew past him. Be so scared. And then he's like, fly bird. He said that to me in the air. So then I was like, oh. How dare he? So then I jumped back, and then it turned out he was shooting. And I just slapped it back down, so I, he didn't get his shot up. Oh! Oh! Six, six, baby! Uh, so I wanted to get the ball and score right after Alex scored. Oh boy. I got the ball at like the top of the key, and I was like, okay, I, would, I didn't want to shoot it. That's why I kind of like stuttered, and then I went. And then I threw it up, and then Kennedy. Yeah, Kennedy, the 6'3", probably like 300 pound monster, the beast. I saw him squat five plates once in the weight room. That was nuts. So now I want to show him up again one more time, but nah, he got the best of me this time. I guess I'm just having a bad first half, but you know what? Just teamwork, I can pick it up. I believe in my teammates and I'm just trying my best to bring the score back. So it's all about, you know what I mean? Yeah, Christian had a nice block. One more. <laughs> and then I pass it to him for his first point of the game. Every time. Uh, my favorite memory, I think, was when we were playing shirts versus skins, and the score was 30-30, and we are playing a 31. Christian got the rebound. He passed it to me, and I decided I just have to take this shot. So I took it down, dribbled around with the ball. Took the game-winning shot and banked it in. I get those goosebumps every time. And I felt so good after that moment. And, you know, I'll never forget it. Wait, wait, wait. Not even a little yeah, go. Know your work. My ex been alive and in my work. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Watch it break. Damn! <laughs> <laughs>